What's up guys? I'm Chris. And I'm Steven. We're students here at the University of Alabama, home to the number one metallurgical and materials engineering department in the nation. Chances are, if you're watching this video, you're taking MT275 with Dr. Warren, and this is your first time in the lab, so you're going to need to know how to use some of the equipment. Today, we're going to show you how to use the microscope here in the A24 lab in Beville. First, we'll begin by showing you the basic parts of the microscope. Now that we've shown you the basic parts of the microscope, we're going to show you how to operate it and take photomicrographs using software on the computer. First, retrieve your sample from the desiccator. Be sure not to disturb other samples. Once you have your sample, close the desiccator to preserve the integrity of other samples. Place your sample in the middle of the stage, then turn on the light source. Don't forget to turn on the camera as well. Open Spot Basic from the Start menu. Then click on the Live button located in the top left corner to begin a live feed from the camera. Look through the eyepiece to view your sample. Use the coarse and fine adjustment knobs to bring your sample into focus. The focus gauge on the right side allows you to obtain maximum clarity. When the gauge reaches its highest point, it is in focus. Use the stage controls to move the stage forwards, backwards, left, and right. This allows you to view different parts of your sample. To change to a higher magnification, rotate the nose piece clockwise until it snaps into place. Then, using your fine focus knobs, refocus your image. Turning the knob on the light source will adjust the intensity of light being projected onto your sample. Once you have the image that you want, click on the camera button in the top left corner to capture the image. Then 
Click the live button again to stop the live feed. To add calibration marks to your image, go to edit, then add edit calibration marks. Select the lens magnification used to take the image. Select the proper unit length for the selected magnification. Then click the New button and click on the image to place the calibration mark. Once you're done adding calibration marks, go to Edit, then Merge Calibration Marks. Now save your photo. So hopefully by watching this video, you've learned how to operate the microscope, the software, and you've learned how to take your very own photo micrographs. Good luck.